Careful, don't fall. Hey guys, so I am almost 11 weeks pregnant. I am, I guess, 10 weeks and five days, and I'm at my Nona's house today, just visiting with the kids. Um, James and Joe are inside showing her how iPads are at work, and I don't know exactly how much of it she's taking in, but um, she's certainly sitting with them. <laughs> And Lily and I are just outside kind of exploring her garden. But as you can see, I don't have glasses on today. And so I thought I would talk to you guys uh, really quickly about kind of like what I learned about pregnancy and contact lens wearing and things like that. If you guys have been following my channel for a long, long time, then you know that like as I get towards the end of my pregnancies, I usually become unable to wear my contacts, like to the point where like, they just burn my eyes if I put them in even for five minutes. It's weird because with this pregnancy, it's happened like right at the beginning. And it's always, I don't know why, it always gets so messed up. Like at the end of every pregnancy, right around the time when I can't wear contacts anymore, I always lose my glasses. And I have this one pair of glasses that is literally like 12 years old. Like it's not even the right prescription for me anymore. I have been using it and I I always, always lose it. I always know, I actually said in one of my videos, I think when I was pregnant with Joe, I said, I've lost my glasses, so I know that I'm probably gonna have the baby soon. Cause it always happens that I lose my glasses, then my contacts stop working, then I end up in the hospital just totally unable to see my baby at all. This time, when I was around nine weeks along, all of a sudden my contacts just wouldn't go in my eyes one day. And I am not a person who has that problem. Like I can put in my contacts, I was gonna say with my eyes closed, but obviously that wouldn't work. But like I, I don't even use a mirror to put my contacts in. I'm just like whoop, and they just like stick right to my eye. Like it's just always been like perfect for me and I've been wearing them since I was like 14 and I hardly ever wear glasses. And this is why I've had the same glasses for like 10 or 12 years now because I just don't wear them. I just wear contacts every day and then when my eyes get tired of wearing contacts, I take out the contacts and I put in glasses at night. And so it's been really really hard for me in the last couple of weeks wearing my glasses for a Multitude of reasons first of all. I hate wearing glasses in general. I feel like when you have curly hair I mean at least for me like I have a lot of hair and it's curly and I spend like a lot of time in the beginning of my day while my hair is drying um, kind of letting it do its own thing keeping it kind of in front of my face because if I like tuck it all behind my ears and stuff then it just gets into this like big poof behind my head and so when I'm wearing glasses my hair like can't be in my face because it gets caught all in my glasses and so every single day I end up tying my hair up and by the end of the day I always have a headache and so that's like one of the annoying things but the other thing is is that because my glasses are like 10 or 12 years old they don't fit on my face properly it's so hard because like when you're a stay-at-home mom with three kids you do a lot of bending over and you don't realize how much bending over you do until you can't bend over without your glasses falling off you know you're just bent down in the bathroom one day wiping someone's butt and your glasses literally fall off your face and you know where they fall and you know what's there because you're wiping somebody's butt so it's been a really annoying couple of weeks and finally I said Alex I just I need to do something about this I need to figure out what's going on because are you making a mess what are you doing well, so I guess last week I was going to get new glasses and then I realized that I didn't have a copy of my prescription and I usually get my contacts from Costco so yesterday we were just driving by Costco and I said to Alex drop me off I'm gonna go in and talk to the I don't know what it's called. Like, it's not an optometrist. I think it's like an ophthalmologist or something like that. It's the person who, like, they don't diagnose vision issues, but they do, like, they can diagnose, like, overuse of contact lenses and the curvature of the eye and stuff like that. So anyways, the, those people are at the, um, the Costco Optical Center. And so I went in to talk to them and I said, okay, well, I'm having an issue. It happens every time I'm pregnant, but this time it's happened really early. And this man started talking to me, but then he passed me on to this woman really quickly. And she probably spent, like, an hour and a half with me talking to me about the changes that occur during pregnancy and how just like women, you know, women get edema when they're pregnant and edema is like a collection of water. And so you can get edema of the feet and that's why like a lot of women get like really like bad swelling in their feet and then they can't wear their shoes anymore when they're pregnant, stuff like that. So she says pregnant women get edema everywhere and some people get 
and I can't remember if she said retinal edema or ocular edema, but basically your eyeballs swell. <laughs> like they fill with water and they swell and they actually change shape while you're pregnant. Because of this, if you wear a stiffer contact lens, something that's meant to be like not a daily contact lens, uh, especially if you wear like a contact lens for astigmatism, which is curved specifically to the shape of your eye. Hey, my Nonna's here. Hi, Nonna. Hi. <laughs> Are the kids okay? She's just running back and forth. In one minute. Come, let's go see the plants again. Did you make a mess with the rocks here? Why? You like to make trouble for Nonna. Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> Come here. Did you squish your finger with a brick? No, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And this one. Yeah. What are you doing, Lily? My Nona's backyard has been the same since I was a kid. Like, this is the backyard I played in, other than the fact that a couple years ago, they changed the shed from the shed that my Nono built, like, before I was born. Years back, there was, like, it was the same color as the fence. It was red, and it was, like, super rickety and falling down, um, the thing where they go up to hang the clothes, and then they changed that. And I remember it was probably, like, 10 or 11 when they changed it, and I was so upset because this house is like, like I moved so much growing up and this house was like one of the only constants in my life. And so to have something change, like the, you know, the little thing that you stand on to do the laundry, that was a huge deal to me because this was my constant place, right? Like I couldn't have that change. Anyways, so she told me that like, because my eyes were retaining different amounts of water and sometimes it's different by the day, but sometimes it can even be different by the hour, having my contacts that were like bi-weekly lenses, so they're a little stiffer than dailies, as well as having contacts that were specific to my astigmatism, so they're like specifically shaped to fit the curvature of my eye. When the curvature of my eye is changing because of how much water it's retaining, that it's it's literally like making my eyes hurt. I'm gonna have to take Lily inside, so I'll continue in a minute. She'll eat the potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She'll eat them. Joe won't. Joe won't. Okay, take it home. Okay. Oh. Are you happy, Lily? You happy? You want any more? I'm <laughs> so Who gave you pasta? No one did. No one did. So I'm home now. Alex is having a really lovely day. He woke up while we were at my nonna's and he discovered that a a rodent had eaten our dishwasher wire. It's not a wire. It's not a wire. It's a what hose. What is it? The Jesus hose Christ. for the dishwasher that goes from like the dishwasher to the sink and drains it. Um, but our house doesn't have a basement. It has a crawl space. So I guess the rodent like popped its head up and ate the thing and it was for leaking what reason, everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> And the crazy no thing is, he like flayed open his finger last night at work and he got five stitches and he was told not to like do work and bend his finger and stuff. And so, like 10 hours since <laughs> I got stitched up. So now he's fixing the dishwasher and his stitches have ripped open and he's wearing a white glove and it's slowly getting covered in blood again, which is just great. Oh yeah, so anyway, so the, the end result of the whole conversation about ocular edema is that, um... Oh, I forgot to put the damn thing on first. I ended up buying some daily contact lenses, but not a lot of them. I only got 45, what? Let's come to this. I don't really have anything of value to say, so I'm just gonna contribute to the pollution of the internet by talking about my contact, my, my contact choice. I have a lot you know, of, a I have amount of space a lot internet, of value to people say. People are like, ah, I bought groceries, look at my groceries I bought. Also, my contacts are not hurting my eyes, so I'm gonna put new contacts in. I'll make a whole video about what oh, kind of contacts Oh Lily has so. an Apple Watch. Do you like that? I'm gonna watch back, Lily. Yeah, so like I'm not a huge fan of daily contact lenses because you have to like open them every single day and then throw this little plastic thing in the garbage. So I only got 45 days worth, which I'm hoping will last me to the end of the pregnancy and I'm only gonna use like sometimes. And I also got new glasses, but um, I'm wearing the contacts today, as you can see, because they told me the glasses are gonna take like a week to come in and I'm just like, 
I just wanted the relief of like not wearing my crappy loose glasses. I should show you guys my glasses. They're so old that they're like totally loose and wiggly everywhere. Anyways, yeah, so I will get my new glasses in like a week and a half, hopefully. But I just thought it was really, really interesting. Like I never would have thought that like your eyeballs are a place that you could retain water during pregnancy. Um, but apparently that's a thing. And so if you get daily, but apparently that's a thing. And so if you wear daily contact lenses, they're a lot softer and more pliable. They don't like have to sit overnight. So there's no chance of them getting any dirt or anything to agitate your eyes even more if they are agitated, as well as the fact that they don't fully cover your eye. I don't know if it's because they're dailies or because they're not for astigmatism, but they don't fully cover the pupil of your eye. And so they don't as much need to like follow the curve of your pupil. So even if it changes as you retain water, it's not a big deal, but for anybody else who's having issues with wearing contacts during pregnancy, apparently that is the thing. And it's actually really, really bad for your eyes if you're feeling discomfort for your contacts to keep them in. So anyways, that is what happened yesterday and for the past two weeks. And now I'm just waiting for my new glasses, which are really, really different because I'm used to wearing like these little thin glasses, which you guys have probably seen before. They didn't have anything like that at the place that I went to. Like everything was big because that's the style now, so we'll see how they look. <laughs> bye. Say bye. Bye. Say we're gonna go now. Go now. What's that? Is that known as pasta? Yeah. Do we bring pasta home? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go. Oh dear. Yep. I'm really gonna go. Okay. Bye. <laughs>